Hi, Mr. Pulley again. Uh, this is the second of three videos I'm making on how I set up my courses. This one is going to be on pages, creating pages, uh, editing pages, um, inserting images, hyperlinks on those images, tool tips for those, uh, and the idea of for consistency, don't recreate the wheel if I'm making new pages for every single unit. So the first video was just how I had my course set out. The second video now is on pages. Let's get started. So this is my Western Civilization course, uh, History of Western Civilization. This is a course that has uh, four sections and they are all linked together. And as you can see, I have things set up in folders, which is the typical uh, Schoology view of things. And within each folder, I try to consistently make everything uh, the same. The only difference between Unit 12 and Unit 13 is that the semester exam resources are in the last unit. 13 and unit 14 technically is the semester exam um, and all the other ones unit 1 through uh, 11 had just been moved down here to the bottom so that's where those are at uh, and I try to be consistent with all that kinds of things and in the each unit you see also assignments you see also the materials for the unit which is um, study guides that are Google Docs links to the page to the chapters in Google uh, and also um, PDF versions of those chapters in Schoology and I also have um, videos for each unit as well. Uh, and in these, the first thing you see in each unit is this home page. And the home pages are the things that are important. And what I've done on these is make these things appear as inline pages. So when I click on the unit, this page then pops in for me as an inline page. So I'm going to go back to that page for just a second. And over here, I'm back to that unit page. And what I want to show you is how we do some things in terms of editing. And as you recall before, we're going to look at the idea of inserting a picture uh, and also then hyperlinking that picture to resources. Uh, and then also the little thing that's popping up down here is called a tool tip. We want to show you how to uh, add that tool tip, which is a pretty simple thing to do. And then also the idea that if I'm creating a unit and I want consistency, when I'm creating a new page for each new unit, I copy the materials in this page and start a new one. So it's not a case of reinventing the wheel every time. So let me go back to one earlier in the year. This was a unit one uh, page and you notice that there's some things missing. There's not the assignment thing. And I added that when I realized when they hit, click on that inline page, they don't see their assignments over here on the side. Uh, and I was also at the time adding images uh, of the calendar. But the problem was that when I made a change to the calendar, I had to add all that back again uh, and with images, which took a long time. And I was linking this to a Word document. So what I'm going to do now is go in and show you how to do a little bit of editing. And what we're going to do first is I'm going to, uh, in this case, uh, click on the edit button. And I'm popped up in this kind of limited, limited little box that school gives me. But I'm going to go in here first and, and take out this image and the other image, which were the two images for the calendar that can get added in there. And then I'm also going to get rid of this. Hey, calendar is too hard to read. Click on that. So that information is gone. I'm also going to get rid of this image here because that linked to an old MLA set of resources that I don't have anymore. But when I'm going to add an image, I can go in here to an image and click on adding my image. I can attach a file. I can find one on the web if I have a URL to it, um, or I can attach a file. Like just for like quick here, I want to go find something. Um, th that course overview thumb that I posted. I'm going to open that up, and it's loading. Sorry, my internet at home is a little slow. And once that's in there, I guess it was a big. Oh, it wasn't the one I thought it was. It was a different picture. Um, so this is a different picture. I can go in here now and resize this by clicking on the corners and, and dragging that down. Um, and you'll see when you're doing that, it's going to t tell you, it's telling you what the size is. You can see I, that was actually kind of a lot bigger than I thought it was. So the thing I can do is click on this and this whoops, little box pops in the corner. I can say, hey, let's make this like 640 by... 360, for example, and it's going to resize that automatically to that type of view. And you can do things that way as well. To hyperlink it, I simply click on this and click on the hyperlink, paste in my URL to that, say insert, and then it is hyperlinked. And the other thing uh, quickly here is to kind of show you that if I click on this insert content, I click on what I have, I have to have my 
image selected. So make sure your image is selected. Then click on Insert Contact and then click on Tool Tip. That will pop up this little box that says, um, click here for a course. I can't type now. <laughs> course overview video which I really wouldn't do it this way. And then I had to select that little checkbox and then that's going to be in there. Um, to give you an example, let's see if I've got this still open. Um, copy this link location from that earlier video. If I wanted to do now, I could go in here and click on this and add that URL and say insert. And I'm going to save change at this point to kind of show you what we've done here is now this is in here and you can see it's going to say click here for a course video and I'm going to right click and say open in a new tab and you're going to see it's going to take me uh, to this video in YouTube on how to uh, over on the overview of pages. So going back here I don't really want that in here for now so I'm going to actually come back and take that out go back to editing here and I'm going to go in here and click on this and just say hey go away Okay, something that I do want is this unit assignments uh, image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and say, hey, well, let me edit this. Uh, I'm going to come down here and just right click on this and say, hey, copy that. Go back to my unit one one. And I want that for consistency in this same location in between. So I'm going to go in there and stick this in between paste. And there's that unit image. Now, the problem is when I've copied that over there from there, it's going to bring with it the associated URL. So I'm going to actually unlink that for now. Uh, and I'm going to go back to, uh, this is another set of units. Let me go back to my unit group and I'm going to slide down here to my unit one. I'm going to go to my unit one assignments. Okay. And I'm going to just copy this URL out of the address bar and come back in here. Now I'm going to hyperlink this, insert. So my hyperlink is in there. I'm going to come back on here and add my tool tip, which was on the other one. The tool tip, for whatever reason, doesn't carry over. So click for unit assignments, say yes, and hit save. And as you'll see at this point, we're going to have that now looks more consistent with the other ones in there. One of the things I failed to mention was the idea that for these pages to pop up in, like this, they have to be selected when I'm doing my editing, which is something called show in line. So if I come down here into the box, this display in line is traditionally shown with this being sort of grayed out and it, it says display on a new page. If I click on it and so that you see the ABC here in blue and it says display online, that means that it will now display when I click on that uh, unit folder, that page being the first thing in there will display automatically in line first thing the way you've seen them. I'm going to come back later and add in the calendar uh, via that embedded Google uh, method, but I want to do that separately to kind of show you how to get to that. Um, I do at this point do want to add that MLA uh, spacing or sources as well. So let me go back in here and edit. Come back over here. I'm going to slide down. I'm going to copy again this image, the MLA handbook. inserted there and when I do that again you're going to see in this case it brought the URL with it I want that URL to stay because that's materials in Schoology that have the materials I want students to know for MLA 8 uh, and so that's going to be in there so I'm going to say uh, cancel and leave that in there and hit save and that is essentially the basics of how to do those things now if I was going to copy a, a a whole new page again I could go in here and just say control A control C or command A command C if you're working in a Mac go back in here and paste it in your new page and you'll have all things in there all you have to change is 
you know, my unit assignments and my study guides, so they're going to the right study guide and the right unit assignments and to the right resources, which we didn't change in this one. Uh, but for example, I'm creating a new unit. I still want to have the same resources going to the MLA. I still want to have the same resources going to the textbook. So it's going to save you a little time to do things that way. Well, hope that helped. If you have some questions, please contact me, uh, pulley at unit6.org.